Hi, and welcome back to ENTP Live. So in today's episode, we're gonna be touching back on the property that I'm doing in Middletown, New York. Um, the very first video that I did on this channel was giving you a general overview of how I approach flipping properties and how I approach the renovations of those properties. So in this episode, we're gonna be going on and continuing with how that construction is going, where I am in my budget, that sort of thing, how long did it take, etc. We're almost done with the project. Um, this should have taken about four weeks, but I already started my next project to move my team off of it because I was just waiting on my countertops to be delivered and that could be a pain in the butt. That ultimately can slow down your project big time um, because you're waiting on your countertops to be cut, delivered, installed before you could do your backsplash and set your final appliances. So rather than just sitting around doing nothing, I got started on another project and we're going to circle back and just finish this one out. So without wasting any more time, let's move on to the construction phase. So here I have the facade. Now the original idea was to repaint the exterior because it had like this old cedar siding that would have saved me a few bucks. But I decided since I am flipping this house that I want to go with something that would give it a little more curb appeal. Only thing left to do is add some uh, front shutters and the siding will be complete. This added an additional $6,500 to my original budget. So added expense, but hopefully it helps it sell a little quicker. Now onto the living room, I've already uh, finished the tiles, added the recessed lighting, um, opened up the space, and looking to just get the rest of this done. Um, first coat of paint is down, and uh, all patchwork has been done. Now these tiles are marble look tiles. I only paid $2.50 per tile, so like I said, you can improve the styling with just a few extra dollars. This is kind of like the halfway point of the bathroom. He's just setting up the, uh, the drywall, getting the uh, plaster all smoothed out. And I'm just going with subway tiles, something clean, simple, low cost, but attractive. Now the master bedroom, I added an additional closet so it could have like a his and hers closet concept. And down into the, uh, I guess, split lower level of the home, is this family room and then what could ultimately become an additional apartment depending on how someone wants to set up this house. It could easily be a mother door. Here is the boiler room slash laundry room slash kitchen depending on how the uh, end user wants to use this area. It has water hookups. It's functional. This is the lower level bathroom. It's four feet wide so I decided to go with a four foot standing shower and similar finishes to upstairs but this is obviously in an earlier stage. And this room could be like the lower level bedroom. So here we have uh, back to the property for progress into the third week of construction. This is the top of the third week. We now have our kitchen cabinets in and set. Gives you a sense of the layout and what it's gonna be. Uh, bathrooms all painted up. Vanity came in. Just waiting on the lights here. The tiles are all grouted and complete. Um, so you have a sense of what that's going to look like, which is pending the fixtures here, um, which are going to just be these chrome fixtures, pretty basic, but clean. And just to recap, remember this was our starting point. The kitchen was completely frazzled, uh, bathroom was outdated, and the rest of the house just needed some improvement. But thank you for joining me at ENTP Life. If you're not already a subscriber, Please hit that subscription button, like, and leave your comments in the comment section below.